I don't need you. You need me. Are we clear on that? Yeah. <laughs> These little pricks. Last week they were in the middle of God's asshole. Some place called Lowenbrauer, Lowestoft. Now they're in Beverly Hills with perfect weather and the biggest limo they've ever seen. On their way to play it to 20,000 people. And they're arguing about whose nose hair is longer or who forgot to fart at four o'clock in the morning. I'm ready to, to snuff out some lives. I've had it. Después del enfrentamiento, el grupo tiene dos horas de retraso para el soundcheck. Ahora tendrán poco tiempo para prepararse y Jill no puede permitir que otra cosa salga mal. As of now, there's no guarantee you're playing tonight, period. You guys have to figure it out and really soon. I apologize for shooting my mouth off and I'm sorry for my immaturity towards other people. I'm sorry to everyone who I've had arguments with, who have been involved, who have been involved. Apology accepted. How do I put this? I bent over backwards for you guys. I want you at least to give me half that. If you're ha if you give me half, just half of what I think you can give me, you'll be great. Su actuación debe ser memorable. Hace apenas dos semanas tocaron no tan bien para un grupo de jubilados en el club de bolos de Lowestoft. Pero hoy lo harán para una repleta Long Beach Arena, donde han tocado U2 y Queen entre otros. Solo hay tiempo para un rápido soundcheck mientras el manager se encarga de las provisiones del grupo en el vestidor. Water, Coke, and orange or fun, okay? We want some M&M's. M&M's. We don't want any blue ones in there. Ah, that's not gonna happen. Can't just do blue M&M's. Have you have you got Jack Daniels? No, that's not gonna happen. Just stop it. En los minutos finales detrás del escenario, el grupo escucha algunos sabios consejos del grupo al que abrirán. Las leyendas del heavy metal, Judas Priest. If you stick with it, maybe you'll get a, a show here at Long Beach Arena. And from the priest, all the best to you guys tonight. A great show, it's gonna rock. Yeah. Okay, you guys, all the best. Petrifying is absolutely scary. The crowd of fully grown American hardcore metal fans is scary. <laughs> there's quite a lot of pressure on my shoulders as being being the lead singer, and there's a lot there's a lot to worry about because I only just learned how to play guitar and sing. I'm very very nervous. I'm not only nervous because they may not remember their chords or their words. I'm nervous whether or not they can actually come on like a well-oiled unit, one for all, all for one. La Escuela de Rock de Jim Simmons Dogs. La clase del décimo primer grado debe presentarse en el escenario de Long Beach Arena. Hace cuatro semanas algunos nunca habían tocado un instrumento y ahora se enfrentan al último desafío, abrir la doble cartelera de esta noche, Anthrax y Judas Priest, frente a 20.000 fans heavy metaleros. Pero una canción que hable de escapar de los top prenderá fuego a Los Ángeles. You have to be outstanding. You, you know this stuff in your sleep. All for one? All for one! That's all I wanted to hear. Let's go out there and kick some ass. I can't explain how I'm feeling now. When you're on a roller coaster and you're going down the hill, you feel a feeling in your stomach, and that's what it's like permanently. Oh my God, my stomach's turning. 
your legs will look jelly. I reckon we are going to be fucking killed with that audience. This gig means everything to me. It's, this, is, this is what I could be doing for the rest of my life. It's just really overwhelming because I don't want to like just blank out on stage. After four weeks of hard work, it all comes down to this moment. And I'm grabbing my back. So. Guitar, keyboards, come on. Keyboards, guitars, follow me. stage was a real rock band that rocked gave it it was solid as good an opening act as i've ever seen you should be really proud just being up there in front of that many people is an amazing experience 
I was just so pleased with myself that I actually got up there and did it. Uh, it's just great. Loved it. They rocked. <sighs> Thank God. Antes que el grupo regrese a Low Stop, Jean los invita a su mansión de 15 millones de dólares. Follow me. <sighs> Puede que hayan aprendido mucho las últimas semanas, pero su actitud no ha cambiado. Whoa. Someone loves himself. <laughs> That's a thousand dollars. This house is absolutely amazing. I, I love the room just dedicated to him and as well, good luck, a big old ego room. Para adolescentes renuentes a aprender, esto ha sido un viaje de revelaciones. The point of Rock School, I think, is just to show everyone that you can do it. You can make something out of nothing. The main thing I've learned is that before I had this experience, I thought that I was going to get nowhere in life, and now I know I can do something. I'm desperate to get out of life stuff now, because now I've seen what's out here. I think now I'm just going to care about more stuff, like school and stuff, and concentrate more on learning. It's the biggest thing that's ever happened to me because it's given me an insight to what I know I now definitely want to do for the rest of my life. It's just been awesome. It just has. It's like one of the things that you know you're never going to do again. I never dreamt that I'd be playing in front of 20,000 people. First California, no one world. You just pick them up like this and just go like this. <laughs> I found myself desperately caring, not for the class and not for the rock band, but for the people, these young people who, who aren't getting a fair shake in life, who need someone to give them a chance. I wanted them to have the chance that someone gave me. Can I just tell you how proud I am of not the young people I met. I didn't like them but the young people you've become, and you've really stepped up. You've really become somebody who anybody would be proud to know. Good morning, Mr. Thank you very much. Good luck. I think we're going to ask Jean, because he, he's taught us a lot, and we're never going to see him again. So it's, it's going to be quite sad when we have to leave. Mr. Sim's given me more than one chance. I think he was a bit paternal. He's, like, influenced my life. Everyone appreciates what you've done. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Cheers for everything. Thank you. By the way, when you got up on that stage, you rocked. Is being a rock star as rewarding as being a teacher? No. Being a teacher maybe is a thankless job, but these memories are going to stay with me for the rest of my life. Han pasado tres meses desde que la escuela de rock finalizó y ha habido grandes cambios. Se ha formado un grupo de puras chicas y se enfocan a escribir sus canciones. We're starting to record stuff and send it to companies to try and get signed and get really rich like Gene Simmons and be very arrogant and have a big house. I'm really happy that I'm now the singer in the band. Learned a lot about myself that I can get up and I can perform in front of people and I don't have to be scared. Now I know that I, I want to make it in the music career. I want to do it and I'm desperate to do it. The future, I hope, is going to be successful and big. <laughs> I have got more ambition since rock school to do things that I want to do. Well, it makes me feel good that I'm playing in a band because there's something for me to do instead of like going out with my mates and getting drunk and stuff, I actually have something to do now. Y el pequeño Chris impresionó tanto a los productores Ray Hedges y Nigel Butler que ahora se encuentran trabajando juntos. We're recording a song called Checking It Out and I love it. My life's been turned upside down, it's like, it's amazing and now I'm in this recording studio in London, I can't believe it. He's got a real artist in Chris, I think. He's a real character. It's an amazing chance for him. It's just out of this world. I ne never thought it at all. I'm gobsmacked. Oh,